Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. You, you both converted, but, but separately. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what is, how has it transformed your life, Marion? It's, it gives it structure, and it, it has, it's an ex explanation for why we're here and what we're meant to be doing, where we've come from, and what's going to happen when we die. And you know what you're doing on Earth, and uh, you know what God wants you to do. It's very clear. Yes. It's, it's almost a, you're given, it's a, it's a random and chaotic and confusing world. I think we can all appreciate that, but it gives you a structure and a certainty. In a sense? I suppose, yes. Yeah. So I think um, the one thing that uh, I would agree with is that um, it's, it's, it's black and, and, and white. It's, it's clear that there's no grey area. You, you don't get confused. It's all or nothing as well, isn't it? No, not necessarily. I mean, I suppose that's a no grey area. But um, people think that you, you, you do something, and if you don't do that, then you ham. You're, you're sinning. If you're not praying, then you're, you're not a Muslim. If you're not eating halal, you're not mm -hmm. a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And that's not how Islam works. Islam is all about what's in your heart. And it's, it's not um, a club either. It's, it's not you're in, you're going to heaven. It, there's, there's lots of little things that, that, can, that, that, that can take you out. And there are lots of things that can, small things that you wouldn't even think about that can put you into heaven. It, it's not necessarily uh, a clear-cut case in that sense, which is something that I actually uh, liked about yeah, Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are challenges, but also there are aspects of it which trouble people, as you know, and one of the things is that something I think that you approve of, because you you know people in this situation who are second and third wives, does that work? It has to work because it's permitted. Um, <laughs> once you have, <clears throat> once you have di discovered that um, the Quran is, is the word of God, what Allah says, then you submit your, your own opinions on these things and your own fallible reasonings and you know that God knows better than you do. You were telling me earlier on before the programme, you know of somebody who wanted her best friend to marry her own husband. Yeah, do you know, actually I know women who are more interested in this than men. You know, there are women going, I just wish my husband would get a second wife. And you've got to understand that in the time of the Prophet men could have any amount of wives they wanted and they didn't have to treat them uh, better than you could just go over to your wife, use her as some sort of drive-in and then just leave. Why can't you have uh, several husbands? Because there would be problems with paternity. I mean, what about pregnancy? If I got pr had two pre uh, husbands, how would I know which one was so the father? So that's the logic. That's the, so you can't also, the logic. Uh, also in Islam, it's the man's duty to look after the woman. So I would be being looked after by two men, and therefore one woman would probably be missing out because of me. Okay, what do you think about this aspect? Well, it's re I mean, I think it's really worrying. I think it shows us that there's something deeply wrong um, with a lot of our Western culture, that, that, that women are actually looking at a religion as misogynistic and as deep set against women as Islam and thinking this might be a better choice. I mean, it really is the, 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 the devil in the deep blue sea to me. If, if there's something that seems appealing about Islam, and, and when you say that it gives you structure, well, that's great, but you can choose to have structure in your life. You can choose to follow whatever rules you like. You can choose to make rules about what you eat, what you drink, where you go out, all this kind of stuff. You can choose all those, and that's very different from suddenly deciding that because you want to choose all those things, you're going to convince conveniently decide to believe in a, a, a mythical cloud-dwelling deity, completely it's illogical, superstitious. It's not a convenient decision. This is logic. It's, it's pure fact and logic. Well, there's Once no you... logic to believing in a deity when, for which there is no empirical evidence. That's not logic. That has to come out of, out of a choice or out of a faith or out of... Oh, no, no, most people believe in that. To, to be going out partying, I, I would. I'm 19 years old. I would much prefer to be out partying. I'd much prefer to be putting lots of makeup on and, and, and doing those things. But... Right, I, so I understand your point of view. No, I, I can sympathise with that. If you, if you would prefer to be doing that, but because of what you believe, you're going to follow the rules of what you believe. But um, what I understand your mother is saying is that she likes that structure and she wants that. And so, and so if you're coming at it from that point of view, that to me doesn't make sense. But the thing about that was, I was getting to the point is that I didn't want... It's not something you choose. It's not something that I went, right, well, I'd really like to wear all black all the time. All the Islam, that, that's the... Um, so there just been a goth, there exactly. are as well so many choices in our society, aren't there? And yet you've, in a sense, limited your choices. I mean, Christopher Hitchens, the writer, 
uh, said uh, basically that it's the ethics of, of 7th century Arabia. And he said it's a, uh, the, the Quran is, is derived from tedious local quarrels between unlearned villagers. What, and I suppose the question he and others of that ilk might ask is why are you retreating from the modern world into the 7th There's century? There's nothing even approaching the truth. The Quran is the word of Allah, is God's actual words. And once you've ascertained that for yourself, mm. once you've verified it with history and observation of your own scientific reasoning and logic, once you've but, No, scientific that, reasoning and logic would tell you the exact opposite. Instead, you're accepting this ancient book, which says horrible things about women, no, about gay people, have about read anyone who doesn't have, have you read the Quran? Have you read the Quran? It is absolutely loaded really? with hate speech. Yeah, people I, I, use it you know, to justify it Quran, vicious, 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 vicious one. You do know in, in the Quran it says that women and men are equal. If you've read... See, I've read the Quran, and I know what the Quran says about women. Have you read the Quran? Be able to make those points. More than a minute. More than a minute. minute. Miriam Francois Seurat, what what sort of structure has has it given uh, your life? You were a Catholic before. I was, yeah. Once a Catholic, not always a Catholic. There's lots of structure in uh, Catholicism, too. But now I'd like to come back to two points. Firstly... I don't think in a liberal society there's any lessons to be given for a decision that's come to by consenting adults, be it polygamy, homosexual relationships or other. People are consenting adults. If that's what they want to do, frankly, I don't really see why any of us have anything to say about that, firstly. Polygamy. Secondly, secondly, yeah, not, not, it doesn't have to be legally recognised. This, this is a consenting decision. An sense. But yeah, as an arrangement. I'd also like to come back to what you were saying about it being pie in the sky and that sort of stuff. The research by Kate Sabiri, who's done research into Muslim converts, suggested actually Muslim converts come to the decision after an extended period of re- research, intellectual and cognitive research into the religion lasting several years. This is what the research says. A majority of them have investigated other religions, and the conclusion of that research is that they decide to abide by that faith. Now, you can't then override women's statements for themselves, particularly not as a feminist, and I can't understand quite how you think that that's a fathomable position to hold, when women are saying for themselves that this is the process that they've been through, and this is the conclusion that they've come to.